Hi, Timothy Unkert from UnkertMedia.com here. In this video, we're going to take a look at installing Emacs 28.2 on a Chromebook. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have Linux installed. And once you have Linux installed, and I have videos on that, you'll have this terminal prompt show up. We want to make sure everything is up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt update and sudo apt update grade and a dash y as a flag on the end there so i don't have to say yes to the extra amount of space the storage will take it's not going to take much i'm going to let that run and i'll come on back okay i'm back and let's clear this out with Control l and i'm going to put this aside for just a moment and i'm going to search for emacs here okay and I'll go to this GNU Emacs page. Let's make this a little bit larger for you. So let's boost this up a bit. And we'll see here that we have uh, the Emacs page. I'm gonna go to GNU Linux here. And I'm gonna go down, I'm actually gonna go up to this nearby GNU mirror. Click on that. And let me make this a little bit larger for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna scroll on down and I'm going to download the emacs 28.2.tar.gz file. And I'll come on back once that's downloaded. Okay, now that's downloaded, I'll click show in folder. And I'm going to just cut and paste this into my Linux folders here. I'll take a moment and I'll come on back. Okay, that's complete. Now we have to install some dependencies before we work on unzipping the tar.gz file and installing Emacs. So I'm going to type sudo apt install build dash essential make lib in curses slash dev mail utils and lib gtk dash three dash dev okay and i'm also going to go ahead to a stack overflow post in my bookmarks and we're going to install some additional dependencies. So I have to find this. So I'll be right back when I find that. And I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Okay, I'm at the stack over, overflow post here. And I need to just copy and install these dependencies. Again, I'll leave these in the link for the description. So I'm going to copy that. Go back to my terminal. And paste them back in. And I'm going to do a dash Y just so I don't have to say yes to the additional space. It's going to be 400 megabytes or so. I'm going to hit enter and I'll come on back once that's installed. Okay, we've gone ahead and done all that. So now what I want to do is unzip this Emacs file. So let's list out our storage and we see we got Emacs 28.2.tar.gz. So I'm going to type tar dash zvxf and then i'll start to type the name of the file and hit tab to autocomplete it and we'll go ahead and unzip and i'll hit enter that's going to run and unzip and i'll come on back okay that's unzipped now let's li list out our storage we've got this blue folder emacs 28.2 and we've got our tar dot gz file we want to go into our blue folder so we're going to cd into emacs 28.2 and now i'm going to run the command configure so to do that i'm going to do period uh, forward slash type configure i want to configure it with mail utils so i'm going to do a space dash dash with dash mail utils and hit enter Okay, uh, the configuration is run through. You may have noticed a couple errors. Don't worry about that. I've noticed this before with compiling or configuring different 
uh, versions of Emacs, doesn't really matter, or at least I haven't noticed any problems. So the next command I'm gonna run is make, and this will take a while, so we'll just type make, we'll run it, hit enter, and then I'll come on back. Okay, make has run through. Again, you may have gotten some warnings, no biggie. Uh, so the last thing we need to do is run sudo make install. So I'm going to type sudo make install and press enter. Okay, now that would have taken a moment or two to run through. I cut out a little bit. But uh, now what we can do is just cd out of this directory with cd space and dot dot. That's going to move you back a directory. Or you could just type cd to get to the home directory. And you can list out what we have. And we don't need this emacs 28.2 and the tar.gz, so we'll just do an rmrf and remove both of those. And that'll take a moment. Okay, that's done. Now we can get rid of the terminal, go here, and you'll see we have the Emacs, Emacs client here. Uh, we can talk about the differences between those in a future video. I'm just gonna click on Emacs here. It's gonna take a moment because I'm recording and it's the first time starting up. And here we go, we've got Emacs. I'm gonna pin this to my taskbar and I can go ahead and start configuring my early init.el and init.el files so I can get Emacs to work the way I want. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like and share with people that might also find it interesting. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I always say subscribe a little weird, but anyways, uh, subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Thanks for watching.